Hi, I'm Adam Roberts, the Amateur Gourmet. I want to talk to you about three restaurants in New York, Perbaco, Scarpetta, and Dirt Candy. Perbaco is a brand new restaurant in the East Village. The chef's name is Simone Bonelli, and he's an experimental avant-garde chef, avant chef from Italy who studied the sort of Spanish New Wave movement. And his food is really interesting, experimental Italian food. His first course wasn't so experimental. It was just a marinated vegetable salad that had pear and pecorino in it. Very nice, very simple. Um, and then it moved along and got more complex as we continued to eat. The second course was a beef tartare that had anchovies in it, which is a, a surprising combination, but it actually is a really nice combination. And if you've ever made lamb with anchovies, you could understand how that goes together. The best course of the whole night was this uh, Parmesan creme brulee, which is Parmesan cheese in a custard with a sugar on top that's been caramelized and balsamic vinegar. It sounds strange, but it goes fantastic together, and you have to order that if you go there. This is my entree. It was gnocchi uh, deconstructed with a, a lamb ragu on the side. I didn't love the fact that it was deconstructed. I, I, like, I like things when they all come together. This is a little too smart for its own good, but it tasted great. And my friend Loren, who I was with, had a, a pasta special entree that I still can't quite understand. It was this giant big piece of dough rolled together and baked, and it tasted really good. It had cheese in it and uh, some kind of truffle flavor. And this uh, dessert was a tiramisu, not so experimental, but very tasty. And all the food there tasted really good, which to me is the most important thing if you're going to eat avant-garde cuisine. So I would highly recommend perbaco. Next up, we went to Scarpetta in the meatpacking district. This was the chechi soup. It's sort of a chickpea soup. Very satisfying, very simple. I want to talk about the scene a little bit. It's a very trendy restaurant. It's not a relaxing place. The service was aloof, but the food was great. This was my dad's uh, first course. He had the frito misto, which is a bunch of fried stuff. In this case, it was fried calamari. Everything was really perfectly cooked. The food there is really, really good. Um, and this, of course, is his most famous dish, which is the spaghetti and tomato sauce. It cost $26 for spaghetti and tomato sauce, which is shocking. And I was really expecting it to be the most mind-blowing thing ever experienced, and it was just very good. And I make it very good at home, so I'm not convinced it's much better than what I could do. This was the goat, uh, braised goat dish, and that's what the waiter recommended as a signature dish. I really liked it. My dad was grossed out that I ordered goat, but hey, you know, it's all food. This was the chocolate cake dessert. I asked the waiter what the best dessert was. He said the chocolate cake. I'm starting to believe that everyone recommends chocolate cake because they think everyone likes chocolate cake, but it all tastes the same ultimately, although this was very well done. And then we had a pumpkin cheesecake, which was really unique and tasty. So go to Scarpetta for the food. Try to go when it's not a really busy night. And, uh, you know, if it's open for lunch, I'm not sure if it is. That might be a better option. Uh, and then finally, I went to Dirt Candy with Clotilde from chocolateandzucchini.com. And Clotilde, you know, who's from France, has her finger on the pulse of everything happening in New York. And Dirt Candy is a brand new restaurant from Chef Amanda Cohn, who um, is an expert at vegetarian food. So all the food at Dirt Candy is vegetarian, and it's brand new. They just opened up. They don't even have gas. Those are Clotilde's hands, by the way. So they're cooking without gas, which is shocking. And some of the food they make is spectacular. This was a salad we started off with, which had candied grapefruit segments. I didn't love the candy, uh, candied sugar shell on the outside of the grapefruit, but the whole salad was really well balanced and really good. And then now this course is like shooting to like four star level, just in terms of the conception, which is a mushroom pate. Uh, and it was so rich and decadent, you would never know that it was a vegetarian course, which is the whole idea of the restaurant. Um, they sent over this soup, which was a spinach soup um, that had some kind of lemon confit in it. And, you know, and all the food there was just really uh, impressive, considering they had no gas. It's their second week in. This is a pasta course that had um, cauliflower in it. And look at all the levels of, of, of flavor there. You have, like, the tomato sauce, the cauliflower, these Parmesan crisps. It's a, she's a really smart chef. Uh, working there. This course to me is like visually on the level of some of the finest restaurants in New York. I mean, just look at that plate. And that's uh, a crispy tofu skin on top of Brussels sprouts and some kind of butter sauce. I mean, that was, this was a really stunning dish. And this was my favorite dish of the night. This was the grits, corn grits with, with actual pieces of corn in it and a fried egg that had a batter on it. If you get anything at Dirt Candy, get this course. It's really, really great. It shows the chef's talent. And then the desserts, I, I mean, I didn't love the desserts. I'm, I, and I'm a dessert guy. They were a little too experimental. This was some kind of popcorn pudding. Then there was some kind of sweet potato sorbet. It was very, it was very good. It just didn't completely sell me. So in, in conclusion, check out Perbaco, check out Scarpetta, and check out Dirt Candy. I'm Adam Roberts. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great day.